Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video, we would be starting with chapter 7 of class 11 computer science with Python course and that chapter 7 is functions. Okay, so starting with what is a function? A function is a group or a collection of program statements or it is a collection of statements that perform a particular task. Okay, now you will think that what is the difference between a function and a program a program also performs a particular task and it is a collection of statements so till now whatever programs that we have written it consisted of a set of statements and all those statements were executed sequentially right one by one the first statement would be executed then the second statement then the third and so on but sometimes there are more requirements when the size of the program grows now what are those requirements firstly you need modularity in your program that means if a particular program is performing different kinds of functions then it is better to divide or when a fun when a program is performing different uh, kind of tasks then it will be better to divide your program into different sections or different parts that are performing specific functionalities because dividing or uh, sectioning the program into modules makes it modular and makes it easier to manage. So I'll just elaborate this a more in a bit. But before that, I would also like to tell you that sometimes in a program, you do not want sequential execution. You want the flow of control to change from one location or one statement to another and then jump back to the statement from which the initial flow of control was changed. So in those situations also functions help you as we will be seeing throughout this chapter. So uh, the use of functions or why learning about functions is important will become very clear by the time you reach the end of this chapter. Okay, so uh, as of now, you must first understand that a function is like a program. It also consists of a set of statements that are executed whenever the function is called. And what do I mean by called? Whenever the function is invoked or whenever we give the command to the Python interpreter uh, that we need to execute the statements that are present in a function, then that particular function is executed okay so it is for now you can consider that a function is a subset of a program and a program may consist of more than one function okay because if each function is defining some functionality or if each function is performing a particular task then a program that is providing or that is performing multiple tasks will have different multiple functions for each specific task okay so what is a need uh, or what why do we need functions what is the need of writing functions in a program functions allow us to enhance the modularity and reusability of the program code now what do we mean by reusability See, uh, there might be instances when you want to repeat a set of instructions for different use cases. For example, you want to calculate the number of times a student was present in a particular class. Okay, or you want to calculate the average marks obtained or the total marks obtained by all the students that are present in a class okay so you'll have to repeat the same task of performing the sum of all marks obtained by the student in all the subjects to find the total marks obtained by that student okay and you'll have to repeat that task for every student that is present in the class so if you write two program statements that calculate the total or the sum of all the marks that are present that are obtained by a student in the school then these two statements will be repeated for each of the 40 students that are present in the class so either you write these two statements 40 times in your program to calculate the 
some of the marks that is obtained that are obtained by each student or what you can do you can avoid the rewriting of code you can make a function from those two lines of code that are performing the task of calculating the total marks obtained by a student and then you can call that function with uh, for, then you can call that function for each student now this is a reduction of human effort you are not repeating the code it is a reduction of program length also and it is easier to understand that since the same function is being called multiple times the same task is being repeated but with different values what are the values the marks that are obtained by different students okay so uh, by modularity as i explained uh, we basically divide a single program into sub problems or sub tasks such that each sub task uh, is is providing a specific functionality it, okay it's providing some particular uh, functionality to the program and that is why since these are independent blocks then uh, independent blocks that means uh, the code that is running or that has been written in a particular section of the program is not completely dependent on another section of the program then you can divide such code into two different parts or two different functions so this will become more clear as we keep always as we start writing what uh, writing functions throughout the chapter okay so as i uh, just mentioned that whenever you write a function or you want to include a function in your program there are two things that you need to do either oh, sorry first you need to define that function and by function definition what i what do i mean function definition means you have to specify what statements will be executed whenever the function is called or invoked okay and then at some point in the program you will have to explicitly call that particular function okay and calling that function will execute those set of statements that you have, that you have provided in the function definition okay now once a function is defined that function can be called or invoked any number of times that means the same functionality can be executed any number of times and from anywhere in the program you just have to call this function after defining the function okay we'll keep that in mind we'll take care of this particular point further also i'll keep mentioning this and uh, explaining it to you in a better way as we proceed further okay so uh, what is the use of a function it makes program code easier to read understand and also debug okay because if uh, you are executing a program and a particular set of uh, operation is not uh, a particular set of statements is giving you an error then you do not need to uh, check the entire code if the output of a particular function is wrong then you'll only have to check the statements that are present within that function and none uh, nowhere outside that function in most cases okay so reusing a function also reduces the code length and the division of work becomes easy so when you work on larger projects maybe in industries or maybe in your uh, school or college projects then if you have to perform a set of tasks such that each task has certain requirements then all those tasks can be written as uh, a un can be written as different functions such that a person can work on function a then another person can work on function b and so on and then at end when everyone has written their functions and uh, define the functionalities of each of them the entire code from all the people can be combined into a single program so it makes division of work also easy okay so now there are two types of function that are present in python programming language first is the user defined function user defined function as the name suggest means they are defined by the user that means these are the functions uh, in which the user tells the python interpreter that this function will be performing these particular task or it will be executing this set of statements okay 
so the task or the uh, uh, functionality that is provided by the function is actually defined by the user you, the user explains it to the interpreter however the second kind of functions are built in function what are built in functions these are the functions that have already been defined in the libraries that are present in the python programming language now what are libraries libraries are a set of functions these functions which are built in functions their definitions have already been written in uh, by python developers uh, if a user wants to access any of the built in functions that particular uh, user can directly call that function without providing or writing its definition in the code so built in functions are the functions that are directly callable you do not need to define what the function has to do because that job has already been done by python developers for you okay so we'll be studying more about user defined functions and built in functions in the next class stay tuned to our channel let us know which other uh, topics from the python programming language you would like to study also let us know if you have any doubts so that's all for today thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam